Despite a light macroeconomic calendar, yesterday's events and reports had a strong impact on markets. Global stock markets ended lower. However, a broad sell-off in risky assets prompted investors to seek refuge in the safe haven assets, thereby supporting the greenback. Nonetheless, the key event of this week is uh, Friday's report on a personal consumption expenditures in the United States. Interestingly, yesterday's report on the current economic conditions across the 12 Fed Reserve districts, known as the Bite Book, showed that business activity in the country expanded. This suggests that the risk of a further inflation spikes remains, deterring investors from risky assets. In addition, an increasing percentage of market participants expect the US central bank to lower rates only next year. Against this background, Wall Street closed sharply lower on Wednesday and the S&P 500 index kicked off Thursday in a negative range of 5,262.70 to 5,282.27. Besides a weak debt auction and it um, to investor concerns. This week, the U.S. government helped several auctions to sell treasury bonds, often in demand globally due to being backed by a strong economy and the dollar. However, this mechanism appears to be faltering, as a two out of three recent auctions were not met with a strong demand, given that bond sales affect multiple asset classes. There is growing uncertainty in the market. Moreover, inflation in many countries remains stubbornly high, despite positive forecasts. For instance, the Consumer Price Index rose to 3.6% in Australia and 2.8% in Germany. It appears that global inflation shows no signs of easing, which is winding on equity markets. However, what's negative for equities tends to be positive for the dollar. True, the US currency also draws strength from rising treasury yields. That's why yesterday's weak debt auction slightly tempered its rally. From the start of the US trading session on Wednesday, the dollar began to recover, consolidating today above the 105 mark. The US dollar index measuring the greenback against the basket of six major counterparts reached a two week high. Such a significant rise of a couple of days suggests that the market is due for a local pullback. This pullback is likely to be technical in nature. Macroeconomic data, including the unemployment rate in the euro area and the US jobless claims, will probably act as a formal trigger. Our analysts predict that these reports are unlikely to drag the dollar down, but will limit the extent of any technical pullback. Meanwhile, the dollar reached a two-week high against the euro. On a Wednesday, the major currency pair gained a strong downside momentum. As a result, the euro broke below the 1.08 support level to settle in the intraday range of 1.0791 to 1.0815. And currently, the euro-dollar pair is trading at around 1.08, with the exchange rate hovering slightly above this mark. The dollar is being supported by negative sentiments in the international stock markets and aggressive expectations regarding the Fed's interest rate. Therefore, the most likely scenario for the euro today is a further decline to the 1.0750 and 1.0700 range. However, in a case of a noticeable decrease in the volume of short positions leading to consolidation around the 1.08 level, the euro could bounce back. After a prolonged sideways move between the 1.08 and 1.09 levels, the release of several important macroeconomic reports could result in a trend change. Moreover, the euro has a knack for responding quickly to positive signals, and today the European currency rebounded slightly, driven by reports of rising inflation in Spain and lower unemployment in the euro area. The currency bloke's unemployment rate unexpectedly fell to 6.4% below expectations of a 6 and half. However, the main reports are yet to come. The market's reaction to the US GDP and inflation data on the both sides of the Atlantic is likely to be much more significant.
The situation in the oil market remains largely unchanged. Brand crude continues to trade in the range of $82 to $84 per barrel. Even data on the crude oil inventories from the American Petroleum Institute failed to have a severe impact on it. Over the past months, eventually, um, figures have uh, fluctuated. Not naturally, oil prices have responded accordingly. For instance, when US crude oil inventories fell by 6.5 million barrels, brand prices briefly spiked to the $85 mark. However, its rally was short-lived. The benchmark dipped back below $84 per barrel again, returning to its previous range to bleak out of the sideways channel much stronger data as needed. The most likely scenario is a gradual move towards $82 per barrel, the lower boundary of the range. Based on the market dynamics and the rise in volatility, our analysts believe that the current range may soon lose its strength. Here is how trading unfolded in global markets today. Stay tuned to InstaForex TV for important market developments. Feel free to ask any questions and leave your comments. Our experts will respond promptly. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.